The American-Japanese restaurant chain, Benihana, presents its customers with a unique experience in which they get to watch their meal cooked and prepared in an extravagant manner before their eyes. Both the performance and the meal play an important role in the customer's satisfaction. If one were to remove the performance element, the chain loses its distinct characteristic that allows it to distinguish itself from other restaurants. This concept can be seen as analogous to the works of Shozo Shimamoto. Like the restaurants, his works involved both a performance and a tangible final product. Shozo Shimamoto was born in Osaka, Japan in 1928. Throughout his lifetime, he was involved with two major art movements, the Gutai art movement and the male art movement. This video's main focus will be on the works that he produced either during his time in the Gutai movement or those that were produced at a later point in time with the same mindset and aims as during the aforementioned movement. The Gutai movement itself is credited as being Japan's original avant-garde movement. They were anti-academic and did not associate themselves with any political alliance. It was founded in 1954, almost a decade after the conclusion of World War II. It was dissolved in 1972 after the death of one of its founders and most influential members, Jiro Yoshihara. Understanding the manifesto and goals of the Gutai movement is critical to understanding what Shimamoto aimed to do in his work. Its members strived for originality and deterred themselves from imitation, as was previously common in Japanese art. They believe that the creation of a work should stem from freedom and individualism rather than the desire to imitate or replicate another person's work. There was an emphasis on action, and more simply, a liberation from the current circumstances and surroundings. The members of this movement sought to expose the art to the natural elements of the world. Through their works, they hoped to depict the relationship between the energies contained within both the materials and the human spirit. The works involve an interaction between the physical action and the material. Many of the works of these Gutai artists merged the concept of violence and whimsy into a singular action painting. Shimamoto was well known for making many violent gestures in his performative works. He strived to allow the element and the essence of the paint to take hold and be prominent in his works. He in turn that the paint was no longer bound by the constraints of the brush, as evident in many of his works. He used a wide variety of material and mediums to achieve this effect. He created many different series of artworks, with some of the most notable being his whole series and his bottle crash scenes. He created many different versions of these holes, some big, some small, some more wild in appearance than others. In his 1953 rendition of this whole series, he hole punched small openings into foil wrappers. He pasted them all onto a sheet of black plywood and then proceeded to spread a thin layer of black ink all over the surface. In this edition of holes, the preparations were created in an ordered fashion. Shimamoto was one of the first, if not the first artist, to use this method of hole punching. This opening allows the audience to see something beyond the colors of the canvas. Rather than the audience being entranced by what's on the canvas, they are allowed to literally look through the canvas. Thus, not only is Shumamoto interacting with the core element of the work, but he is also allowing the audience to see the energy and true nature of the canvas. This allows the audience to see the material as its own entity rather than simply being the means by which paintings are displayed. His 1954 addition to the series looks completely different than the previous work. This version consisted of several layers of newspapers and brown cartridge paper glued together using flour and water. This created a very delicate and brittle surface. He then painted it white and pale blue. He punctured the painting irregularly, leaving holes of different shapes and sizes behind. Each hole added in revealing the different layers of material by which this painting was made. The result of this physical interaction with the canvas displays both the process of creation and destruction. He was only able to reveal the process of creation, that being the multiple layers of varying paper, through destroying the piece by puncturing holes. He continued to focus on the mechanistic methods by which he would help these materials release their energy onto the painting. 
destruction served as the most important element of his paintings during the Gutai period. In his bottle crash scene performances, the splatters of paint across the canvas allow the audience to see the explosive nature and force by which Shimamoto interacts with the piece. Each bottle crash performance yields a completely different final product because it is near impossible to be able to completely predict or trace where the hurling bottle of paint will fall. In this 1962 rendition of Bottle Crash, the different shapes yielded by throwing the bottles are connected to the energy and strength by which they have been hurled. Shimamoto is only able to guide the bottle and paint in a general direction. In this case, the paint is the element that determines the final appearance of the work. It is at the core of the work, and Shimamoto has allowed that element to flow freely by not restricting its direction completely. The splatters of paint are different in each rendition, thus showing that Shimamoto was able to show the unique energy contained within each material. The formal qualities and process by which these works are created parallel many other post-art movements that were occurring simultaneously in other parts of the world. This includes the works of abstract expressionist painter Jackson Pollock or the holes created by Lucio Fontana. Each movement emerged from different circumstances and each with a different purpose for creation through these performative meets. It is important to realize that the works of Shimamoto and the movement he is associated with are distinct from the works of the West. The tendency is that Eastern works are compared to Western works rather than simply being observed in their own context. This is important to consider because of the overall relationship between the East and the West and the latter's history of imperialism and own genre of democracy. On one hand, the Euro-American avant-garde was against capitalist bourgeoisie. On the other hand, the Japanese avant-garde was against domestic nationalism and the supposed superiority of the Euro-American modernism. Many of the Western post-war works were created as a reaction to terror and chaos. However, the works of the Gutai movement were created to evoke a sense of relief and liberation from the oppressive regime. They were in opposition to cultural orthodoxy, social conformity, and political coercion, as evident in many of their works. Shimamoto himself strived to allow the essence of the material shine through in the artworks, rather than the material being the means by which the artist denotes their thoughts and imaginations. He sought to free himself of the traditional means of painting and of the strictly illustrated means and thoughts.